For those of you who are taking communicative abilities in English one, we're in week five and on Monday, we're gonna be completing our first of four ePortfolio tasks. So under Monday, I have the task itself, which we'll look at and which you can refer to in terms of how to complete the task. And in class on Monday, we'll also access this page called CAE1 2024 ePortfolios. If you click on this link, it'll take you to this page. And all of you have been invited to this page, which should allow you to edit this table. And if for any reason you're not able to access this page or edit this table, let me know. Make sure that you've signed in to Notion using, uh, for most of you, using your email to your university or using your university email account. In some cases, some of you are using your Gmail account. But if for any reason you're not able to access this page and edit this table, send me your, the email that you're using to sign into Notion via Microsoft Teams chat, and I'll make sure that you've been invited and uh, you have rights to edit this page. So what we're going to do is add our name, and I have several rows already set up here, so you can just add your name basically anywhere uh, to these rows. If you need to add additional rows, you can click this plus button, and that will add a row. But basically, we're going to need just your name and then the title of your ePortfolio. If you have or if you're using your name as the title of the portfolio, then you can simply just duplicate your name here. Otherwise, include the title. And once you've included the title, select the text and click Add Link and copy the public URL. The public URL should be the link that takes anyone to the public page, the ePortfolio that is published and not your dashboard, not what you are looking at um, when you go into the platform, let's say Google Sites or Weebly or Wix. You're going to be in a dashboard where you actually create the portfolio. So we don't want to share that link. It's a, actually a, a public link that you want to share with whomever so they don't have to sign into whatever platform you're using, that it's a public page that anyone can access. So this is what we're going to be working on on Monday. Again, if you are not able to access this table, make sure that you send me a private chat message in Microsoft Teams chat and just confirm with me the email that you're using to sign in to Notion. The password can be any password. Uh, it's your choice if you want to use a similar or same password or a completely different password for, uh, for Notion.